So what I've been up to in the last little while is I've been writing on a commission, 25 tracks, working with some collaborators to create these tra tracks essentially for music production libraries. The thing I love about writing music for production libraries, I mean my main gig, the thing I really love to do the most is write to picture, right? So if you want me to score the film itself or the or the series, there's a story involved, right? If, there, I'm, if I'm sort of following a narrative and I'm able to help tell that with music, that's my favorite thing. Production music on the other end is not like that. You don't have something that you're playing off of. You kind of have to imagine in your own head how this music might be used, right? The thing I love about production library music uh, and the way that I sort of approach my commissions is I like to pick a bunch of different genres. And then I feel like I'm getting paid to really bone up and research the crap out of that genre and figure out how to write it and produce it in the best way I possibly can. And that to me feels like I'm just like creating more value for myself. I mean obviously I'm getting paid to write these tracks and hopefully they're getting licensed down the road and I'm getting some back end royalties for that as well. But in the meantime, while I'm actually working on this stuff, I'm learning how to produce in this style. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. You know, I pick I like to pick styles where I'm like, ooh, I don't know about this thing. This time around, one of the styles that I've chosen is like 1950s, super cheesy jazz orchestra for like TV commercials, right? So <laughs> researching this stuff, it's super fun. It's like incredibly, like I'll play an example. Here's an example of what it sounds like. So you can hear it's like incredibly, ridiculously positive, over the top happy, over the top cheesy, and it's so much fun. I just love it. I mean, one of the great things about it is you're not trying to be cool. There's no way to be cool with this stuff. I mean, it's just dorky to start with, but th that sort of makes it easier to write for because you're just going, well, I don't have to try and be cool. Like if you're writing modern electronic and you're trying to make it all like minimalist and really like edgy and, and trying to get that cold, cool tone, that's tough, right? Because you're, you're trying to like see what the cool thing is and you get into that trap of like trying to be cool. This is the opposite. You're just like, let's have some fun. So the weird thing is, I'm, I'm writing these things, my mood is improving, like I'm starting to feel really positive and happy. And I'm going, that's just weird, right? Like, I mean, this music that was like a 1950s isolationist America that was all about like, let's focus on making people buy things and be happy consumers. But now it's just like separated from that, it's just really positive, happy music. So maybe it's like the most effective advertising music of all time? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to a beautiful but kind of cold day here in Hamilton. Today I'm going to take a little bit of a break off of my crazy production schedule. There are tons of tracks and I'm going to take a break and meet with my friend Jason Greenberg. Uh, he runs a boutique library called Soundscape Media. And we're going to hang out today and we're going to talk about how he can use uh, videos and stuff like that to sort of promote his brand and to get some traction. It's going to be a fun day with Jason. We're going to drive around town and uh, yeah, we're going to have a cool hang and talk about video. Amazing day with Jason on the town. Uh, tried to go to Lock Street in Hamilton, which was insanely overrun. I mean, we could not get a seat in a restaurant in Hamilton. I mean, this is not a crazy place like Toronto or New York or LA. So we had to go to a completely different street. But amazing to see the energy and people coming out and really supporting those businesses. Anyways, amazing meeting with Jason. Uh, we talked about a lot of stuff. He is trying to take his business to the next level. So he's a creative entrepreneur. He's got a music library called Soundscape Media and he's rebranding to soundscape.io. His whole focus is on indie music, indie producers like uh, artists that really care about making the best music 
music they can. They're about uh, making albums really genuine, really authentic, kind of like this is what I do. So Jason's library is really cool. He's working with incubators in Waterloo, Ontario, where he video produces, marketing people, uh, all sorts of great energy happening out there. He's working his butt off. He's really trying to make it happen. So I'm excited to be involved with Jason. Also help him do some pitches, which is exciting to me. I actually like standing in front of people and pitching ideas, especially other people's ideas, because as we all know, it's easier to sell somebody else than it is to sell yourself, right? All right, so end of an amazing day, really excited, and I will see you guys in the next video. Kittens in a tree, kittens in a tree, kittens in a tree, kittens in a tree. Here's sad Superman licking his arm, and he's looking over her butt like she's Dracula. Okay. Save yourself. Hmm? And you? Anything to say? <laughs>